There had been speculations about Meghan and the British royal family for quite some time. With this video, I am going to bring out a supposed incident when Meghan just crashed a private party and thus overtook another royal event. Allegedly, it all started when Meghan went together with her husband, Prince Harry, on a tour to Texas. Harry had official engagements linked to the Invictus Games, an event set up in support of injured veterans, and a part of the trip was made for these engagements. In fact, sources close to Meghan say that the Duchess wanted to shoot some content for her Spotify podcast. The source reportedly added that they had their own private cameraman with them. One night during that trip, Meghan and her cameraman showed up uninvited to a private party being held in Austin, they added. The party was hosted by a group called the Communities Foundation of Texas. It was an exclusive dinner and cocktail event, with only about 30 guests, entirely professional women covering philanthropic causes in Texas. The surprise, they said, had been Meghan and her large entourage landing at their private venue unexpectedly. Meghan identified herself, but according to witnesses, she didn't say who had sent her and for what reason. She went on to have her cameraman record interviews with invitees inside. Many of the women felt uncomfortable about having a film crew document their private conversation without permission. However, they didn't want to cause a scene since Meghan was a high-profile guest. Still, they said the presence of her in the cameras disrupted an intimate environment they had planned for the night. For sources said, Meghan spent about 30 minutes working the room, shaking hands and engaging guests. The whole ordeal felt like she paid more attention to giving interviews and staging the footage for her podcast than to the actual interaction with the participants. One guest said, she didn't really listen or engage with what we said. It was like she was just gathering content. After Meghan and her crew had left, there were murmurs amongst many of the women over the unwanted interruption, and they felt that the actual private do had, in fact, been gatecrashed and turned into something of a media event without permission. And, of course, they had not had advance warning that Meghan would be among them. The host of the occasion was left to make apologies to guests for the embarrassment of the breach of etiquette. Indeed, such behavior flies in the face of the code of royal protocol, being discreet in all actions and not putting people in awkward positions without their permission. So Meghan got a certain degree of critical attention in the British press for turning up unannounced to the Texas women's private do and treating it like her own personal film set. Now, this is where it takes on an even more controversial tone. The timing of her gate crashing was such that at that very moment, an important royal event was occurring. You see, while Meghan was in Texas, Prince Edward was being honored in the UK for his 60th birthday. That said, King Charles is reported to have arranged for a special televised ceremony at Windsor Castle, where the new title, the Duke of Edinburgh, will be conferred upon Edward, the Earl of Wessex, on his milestone birthday. It was a major royal event as Edward formally took up the title held by his late father, Prince Philip. However, the papers were to be dominated by news of Meghan crashing the Texas ladies' party and pushing cameras in their faces on the day of Edward's ceremony. Many stories about Meghan's gate-crashing antics, who should probably have been making way for coverage of Prince Edward's honours by the King, filled the print editions of numerous British newspapers. Even overshadowed by TV coverage, with commentators talking about Meghan's actions in Texas just before and after airing the event from Windsor Castle, even that ceremony of Edward's. If anything, then Meghan really managed to take center stage in what was meant to be for Prince Edward in light of his big milestone and new title. Her behavior in Texas was so self-centered even at a family moment that had to be marked for King Charles on behalf of Edward. It did not naturally appeal to many in the UK, including Edward and other royal family members. They thought it was very irreverent and rude for Meghan to actually go ahead and organize this media splurge, which, in truth, really detracted a lot from the tribute that the king had organized for Prince Edward. Since then, rumors have swirled, 
with tensions reportedly rising behind palace walls over Meghan's repeated efforts to put herself in the headlines, putting herself out there, even if that means stepping on the plans and the priorities of other royals. One palace insider said, King Charles is said to be livid that Meghan has managed, once again, to steal the limelight away from a royal commemoration meant to honor his youngest brother, Prince Edward. This, of course, is just one side of the story from anonymous sources. Meghan's team has yet to respond to the claims with an on-the-record statement. Both might argue that she had no idea at all that the event would take place on behalf of Edward at that time, that it was such an unhappy, coincidental occurrence.